we will not give up and we will not lie down. With this statement, French weekly Charlie Hebdo has announced re republication of the controversial profit cartoons to mark the beginning of the trial regarding the 2015 terror attack. The publication has said that the republication of the cartoon is a reflection of its resilience to not back down as the quest for justice is set to finally begin. The landmark trial, not just for France, but the entire civilized world, will get underway in Paris on Wednesday. It is the first trial in the history of France, which will be filmed, and nearly 200 survivors of the three-day rampage are expected to testify. 14 accused face a variety of charges related to helping perpetrators carry out attacks that killed 17 people over three days in January 2015. The horrific spree of killings began on the 7th of January 2015 when two men armed with AK-47 rifles stormed the headquarters of the French satirical weekly Charlie Hebdo over what radicals termed a blasphemous cartoon, killing 12 staffers and guests as well as a policeman outside. After exchanging gunfire with the police, they escaped by car. The next morning, a gunman acting alone shot dead a police woman and injured a man in the suburbs of Paris. A gunman took several people hostage at a Jewish supermarket in the east of Paris, killing four people. Yemen-based Al-Qaeda affiliate claimed responsibility for the attacks. The killings at Charlie Hebdo office were carried out by the brothers Said and Sheriff Kowashi who were later killed two days after the attack while hiding at a printing company outside Paris. Amadi Kolabil, claiming to be a member of the ISIS, who shot dead a policewoman and took, took people hostage at a supermarket, was also killed by the forces during the siege. Eleven of the suspects are in detention, but three will be tried in absentia, including Hayat Bomadien, Kolobeli's girlfriend, who officials say fled to Iraq, Syria region during the attack. Brothers Mohammad and Mehdi Baluchini, accused of helping the attackers, also fled the country just before the attacks. Despite separate reports, there has been no confirmation of their deaths. Bomadien was reported alive as recently as October last year. All three, along with other accused, face charges of abetting an act of terror and face life in prison. The trial is expected to last until November 10, will be one of the most closely followed cases across the world for the next six weeks as Parisians rel relive uh, the trauma of the Charlie Hebdo killings.